Now I'm inside one of their houses. Shh. I don't know if they know I'm here. But as you can see, they've got beds, which is really convenient to sleep on in houses. And then they've got clothes that they've hung up. And he's got a little sweet boom box. So this is what you'd live in if you lived in an Umuru house. So you got beds. I'm still trying to figure out where they go to the bathroom. Wave, these are all the people on my tour and they're really excited. They're like, why is this guy filming? He's kind of a jackass. But the inside is kind of cool. This is the president of the island. Hi, president of the island. He showed us all that stuff and taught me all the cool stuff. So if it's wrong, it's his fault. Kuna Satima. What does Kusanata, yeah, that mean? Kuna Satima. Kuna Satima. Ah, Ian. My name's Ian. Now we can be friends. Uh, I have no idea what that means. Wave! Yay! <laughs> if you'd also like to support the local people, they have awesome wares that you can buy. They've got blankets and trinkets and stuff that I'm sure you can buy at a reasonable rate. Remember, negotiate everything. Now what's interesting is these people are actually Ayamara and speak the Ayamara language, which is a completely different language from Quechua and Spanish. The Ayamara civilization is actually an older one. And as you can see right here, here's their political support because I'm right during that time of the political votes and stuff. So yeah, come check out Lake Titicaca and the Uru Islands. So these are the different things the, um, the Ayamara or the people of the Uru Islands make. They're absolutely fantastic, handmade, quilted, beautifully designed blankets. So if you come here, please buy them for hundreds of thousands of dollars and then you can put them up on your wall and say it's an ancient artifact. And uh, my buddy Raul here is showing us all the different things he's got to offer. So if you ever come to the island, say hi to Raul, give him a high five and uh, buy one of these things because that's what he asked me to say. And I think that's pretty cool because, you know, why not support a uh, floating island which they built themselves. So all my thoughts are confirmed. They pee over the side, which is not really a revelation since they live on an island and there's water all around them. They can just go. But uh, yeah, what they do is they go probably about 10 meters away and they've got this little spot and they pop a squat and, and they go. And that's how they pee on the island. I know it's probably the thing you're really most concerned about and things you're really most interested about. But what's fascinating is this actually, this culture has been peeing off the side of islands for thousands of years, which means that they learned how to build these islands a long, 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 long time ago. And it's really an ancient culture. And the Amaru culture is actually dated about 1500 BC or AM BCE before the Common Era, which is a long time ago, because that's before Christ in uh, the way we used to do it. So if you ever come here, there's actually toilets on the boat, which is legit, but um, you know, you could always ask them to pee off the side of their island. And this is one of their girls, and she's got a sweet ass outfit with green and pink, and she's got little hair tassels, which is gonna be all the rage, I have a feeling, in 2011, so get on it. This is the local convenience store. You can get everything you want here, from soda, to eggs, to top ramen, to chocolate. Your, this convenience store comes to you on water. Pretty red. So you can go on board the Mercedes-Benz of Lake Titicaca for 10 pesos. You can fit 35 people on that. That's what they're telling me. Anyway, there's about five or six right now. It's 10 pesos each, and it goes towards the community. So you should go. And she's convincing me to go, even though I'm not going to. So I'm gonna wave at her, and, um, Keep taking pictures. <laughs> so they're singing in five languages right now. They're gonna sing in Spanish, Ayama, Quechua, French, and English. People on islands know more languages than you do. How does that make you feel? <laughs> now they're doing Quechua. I bet you don't know Quechua. Their green skirts are awesome. English. Pretty obvious. Go on forever. Yay! 
Al Pachán. Ok, les dice, todos podemos ir a la, a la canoa, en la balsa típica. Espera, espera, espera. Uno más. Now they're going to do it in French. Okay, the French isn't that great. I want to see you better than that outfit though. I bet you can. Bravo! That's right, five leg, which is...